My dad uh, served in India during World War II, uh, and he served in India and China with the Flying Tigers. And when you come visit Washington, visit your local member of Congress, but always come by my office. Uh, because when you come by, I've got a picture of my dad uh, in front of the Taj Mahal in 1944. Ooh. And so, um, and I, and, uh, so uh, as I was growing up, he told me how hardworking the people of India are and people of Indian heritage, and that uh, what un good entrepreneurs uh, the uh, Indian uh, community uh, is and will be, and, and now has matured. Uh, so it's just so uh, positive. And so when Indian Americans started buying hotels and motels uh, in our community, I said, I know who you are. <laughs> and, I, uh, and so uh, it's just been a, a wonderful relationship, and then working uh, also with the uh, Indian American um, medical community uh, with API, uh, working with the convenience store uh, owners, uh, Madhu Srivastava uh, helped me with my campaign signs uh, this week. Uh, and so I'm just grateful on and on. And then I had the privilege right in this community here in Irmo to uh, incorporate uh, pro bono uh, the Hindu Temple and Cultural Center of South Carolina. And so over and over again, uh, it's just been a, a thrill for me. And then uh, and here in South Carolina, uh, how, how utterly incredible. Uh, I'm so grateful that uh, several years ago that uh, a young Indian American by the name of uh, Nikki Rondawa Haley uh, was going to run uh, in the Republican primary for the State House. And uh, at that time, she was 31 years old, and she was running against a 31-year incumbent in the primary. It was announced at the reception that uh, we attended that South Carolina has now been ranked the second highest place in, in the number of people that move into our state. And we think that that is absolutely terrific, that we have that, an in-migration to that extent, We're number two in the country. Um, uh, we've heard the, uh, the, the advertisements for years of that we're number two and we try harder. Well, we're going to be trying harder. But, but to have reached that point indicates, as, as Chip was saying, the quality of life that we have here and the and terrific work ethic and the terrific job that each of you is doing on a daily basis uh, with your hotels. Uh, tourism is our top industry, as she alluded to in our letter, in her letter, excuse me. It's a $19 billion industry in our state. And Y'all play a very, very key part in making that the case with what, what you do with your hospitality, with your vision, with your, your uh, terrific outreach within the community and within the state on a daily basis. My AHOA membership is essentially my livelihood. I wouldn't be working today if I didn't have my AHOA membership. My AHOA membership means to me opportunities. Opportunities for having a voice in our industry. If I didn't have AHOA, I don't think I'd be where I'm at today. Going back to the classes that I took, going back to the conference that I went to, going back to the contacts that I've made, uh, all the stuff that AHOA has put out for me, we took advantage of it, and then it's maybe where I'm at today. AHOA has something for everyone, whether it's from advocacy, professional development, products and services to get people connected with either vendor partners or each other. We're able to create a better environment in this country as a result of HOA being here. We view the AHOA conference and the relationship with AHOA as perhaps our most important conference and most important franchise relationship that we work on through the entire year. They're wonderful to work with. They've absolutely been phenomenal. We participate in regional meetings. We participate in board meetings. We just have a very good symbiotic relationship with AHOA. They're not to sponsorship, some partners. They're energized, they're positive, they look for solutions, and they focus on solutions, not problems. So they're a great group to work with very good till now today and we have a very good agenda also well, for the members benefits uh, the pack uh, updated and uh, local state level issues and kind of stuff and uh, Rahoa has uh, raised the highest pack fund in uh, Ahoa history more than a million dollar and uh, which is a uh, we have been surpassed over 16,000 members say in a whole nationwide so that's what the agenda for that, and we've been uh, all the members are connected with the uh, hoteliers. They've been uh, happy about the 
election just went it about the way it's been finished and everybody surprised but the hotelier purpose is uh, hopefully the elect president is going to be hotelier also so it's going to be benefit for the, all the hoteliers too also ambassador for hoa what we primarily do is support our regional director first and foremost and then our second nature is to assist in the town halls that we go to the uh, legislative summits that we go to in D.C., collect PAC for HOA, which is the Political Action Committee, to help lobby our congressmen and senators or governors and help get them elected to have them pass laws that are beneficial for the business itself.